Okay, Kaylee, we need to make sure that the horses are well fed for the Greek theater scene in Act 1. Make sure the lions aren't fed today. We want to make sure they have extra motivation for their parts. I want real emotions, people! Check to make sure that we have enough pyro. Then double it all. I want this place to light up like the 4th of July, New Year's Whoa. Eve, and Labor Day combined. Oh, tell the acrobats that their rigging should be up within the hour and they can get started practicing the routine where they fly over the audience, representing the soaring spirits of all the great actors of the past 100 years. Oh, I need you to remind me that I have to meet the winner of American Idol Season 8, Chris Allen, to make sure he's still a real person, and remind him that his duet with Sia Frampton, first runner-up of Season 1 of The Voice, has been changed to Act 3. Act 4 has to be completely rewritten because we can't say Betty White anymore without people totally freaking out and bursting into tears. Um, oh, make sure that the cannons have been prepped. I want to do a test run of being shot out of a cannon before lunch. Uh, have the dancers of the Goldberg variations arrived yet? <laughs> yep, they're here. Hmm, I think that's it. What else needs to be done? Um, you have a meeting with Bob Whitaker, tech director of this theater. Yeah, said he had a few issues with your demands. Oh, I'm sure it's no big deal. I'll go smooth this out. This is for you. Okay. So you guys won't believe what happened when Kaylee went to find out about the trophies. It's better than three lions escaping, find it, and shoot it! Have you done anything? Have you at least got the trophies? Yeah, yeah, I've got the trophies. Just hold on a second. Aha! Look! Don't you see it? What is this? It's the trophies! I've made hundreds of them. These are the ones we're gonna give away. I can't believe Logan is so annoying. I hate him so much. He's always messing around and he treats this thing like it's a joke. And that Joel just pushed me overboard! <sighs> So Helena went to talk to Bob, and this is what happened. Hey, Bob, uh, Kaylee told me that you wanted to talk to me about something. Just make it quick, because I got a lot of stuff to do. Yeah, look, it's about your closing ceremony. See, the thing is, oh, oh, Kaylee, you just- Oh, Kaylee, 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 Kaylee. Okay, listen, the trophies aren't important right now. I don't care, just deal with it. Oh, and while you're at it, make sure that the pool performers for Act 7 go warm up in the pool on stage. Got it? Okay, good, thanks. You were saying? Yeah, thing is, there's not a pool on stage, and there's not going to be a pool on my stage. So? Kaylee, meet me, meet me in my office in 10 minutes with a fresh pot of coffee. We have to rewrite the entirety of Act 7. <laughs> you're going to need a lot more than coffee. You're going to need a huge lot more than coffee because you have to rewrite the entire closing ceremonies. What are you talking about? What do you... Are there any violations? Violations? What you show is a 10 million new violates everything we've got around on this college camp. No, but that's all you've got is violations. No, sorry, it's not gonna happen. I mean, Wait. look at all this. Okay. Bob, the closing ceremonies has been my baby for like the past three months. I mean, I've been watching countless hours of Olympic footage from different countries and different years. Well, what am I supposed to do now? Don't know. Don't care. Kaylee, shut it down. It's over. No, it's over! Don't talk to me anymore! It's over! Has anyone seen Helena? We haven't seen her in hours and we're starting to get worried. Um, maybe we should have a search party. That could take hours! This place is huge. She's already probably left. Okay, look, we've got that covered. We've got Pep Rocky, he's outside, he's by our car, and he's gonna radio us, and he sees her. Okay, here's a plan. Everyone, pair up and search the ground! <laughs> 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 uh, so, I guess that means it's me and you again. And maybe you can do this job right. Oh, do this job right? Uh, if I remember correctly, I've done every job that we've been partnered with, and I've got it done, at least. You know, you have this weird notion that because I don't, like, do things as efficiently as you want me to, that I don't do work around here. What's that all about? Look, we need to get things done as fast as possible. I can't work with you goofing around, joking, because I can't focus. It's not... It's not...
natural. What are you talking about? I'm just saying, where's the excitement, the danger, the stories that we're going to pass on to our children, to our grandchildren? I mean, that's all that I've been trying to tell you since we've been partnered together. You remember that time that I cellophane your car? No. Huh. Or I stole all your left shoes and... Oh, that was a good one. I set your coffee mug on fire. Oh. You know, these were all just things that I was trying to say to kind of kind of loosen you up a little bit. Oh, you thank know? God, we found her. Oh, Atlanta, don't cry. Guys, she's under the stage. Everything will be okay. No, it's all ruined. Well, my hard work, everything that I put into it, and now it's just, it's nothing. Closing ceremonies is a joke, and now people aren't gonna have the wonderful, memorable time that I wanted them to have, and... All I wanted to do was put on the greatest show on Earth! See, look, now it's okay. Ringling Brothers has already done that, and Barnum and Bailey. I think what he's trying to say is no one expects you to put on the greatest show on Earth, and you don't have to. Yeah, I mean... Closing ceremonies doesn't have to be this big, spectacular show with fireworks and celebrities and anything like that. Districts is about students who are proud of their craft come to amaze judges and all the hard work they put into it. Yeah, it's about friends who feel like family. And th 500 students come from 30 different troops and all come together. Yeah, it's about those, it's about those funny pantomimes. <laughs> Or s serious, dramatic monologues. Or like whenever you throw your tech project together at the last minute. Or spend months and months on your tech project. See, closing ceremony should have a little bit of all these things, and that's what makes it great. I mean, if, if we do that, then everybody will remember it. It's a time where the whole festival gets to see what the district has to offer. And maybe if I do that, then... It'll be memorable for everyone. Yeah. Uh, man, I guess I did go a little bit overboard there. I'm sorry, guys. Just don't do it again. And while we're on the topic, we need to discuss Phantom Thursdays. Oh my yes. God. I don't think that's the time. Well, yeah. hey, why don't we just go upstairs and wait for the best of the best to arrive? Then our jobs will be over. Yeah, it'll be fine. I'm sure they'll play like some video like they did last time. Yeah, you you guys remember they had zombies. <gasps> oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Well, come on, let's go. We've got a closing yeah. ceremony. Yeah. 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 I wonder who's gonna win monologues. Oh yeah. And so closing ceremonies went on much like it did the year before, and it was indeed awesome. Because that's what happens when you get a room full of talented, beautiful, dedicated students. You get something really special. And that's where I learned made closing ceremonies even more beautiful. And I guess, all's well that ends well. That's what Shakespeare said! <laughs> some of the pyro. Where are you going? Remember, I made a hundred of these. Yeah, it's really good though. Mm -hmm. My turn. Where are you going? Good idea, Logan. Mm. That's actually really good. Hey, you know what that tastes like? Mm. What? Tastes like friendship. Good one. Wow.